Today we'll analyze the rarest engines of this German manufacturer, including the poisonous pistons and the inverted V12 engine. We will start with the Benz Patent Motorwagen. Its literal translation is patented motor car. It's originally the first official car, and being the first means it was very rare. This engine was made of a single cylinder of 954 cc's and four stroke. It produced less than one horsepower and could rev up to 250 RPM. The low RPM number required a large flywheel to keep the engine running during the non-combustion cycles. The carburetor did not exist at that time, and the fuel supply was through a thread dipped in gasoline. The more the air passed through, the more the fuel evaporated and fed the engine. Let's say that it worked like those sticks used to perfume the room. The valves were sliding gates. The open crankcase dropped oil to the floor while running. At that time, the law only allowed men to patent inventions, but it's believed that Berta Benz had a great influence on the construction of the engine. In fact, she was the first official driver and made a trip of almost 60 miles or 100 kilometers. On the trip, she had to make repairs and even buy fuel, a kind of gasoline that was sold in pharmacies for cleaning. People were puzzled to see a woman repairing and driving this machine. Its speed was 11 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per hour. Now let's move on to the second rare engine of the video, the DB600. This engine is an inverted V12. Yes, the crankshaft was on top and the pistons were below. The valve covers also fulfill the function of an oil pan. In each of these, there are oil pumps that raise the fluid to the tank where the pressure pump sucks. The system is also known as dry sump. This allows the engine to operate in any position since as long as there's oil in the tank, the engine will maintain lubrication. The oil is then dosed in the conventional way through the engine. Every time the pistons move back, they take out the oil, returning to the valve covers and completing the cycle again. The pistons use three compression rings and two oil scrapers. In total, five. At first, this engine was carbureted, but then, by 1935, using recent Bosch technology, it was endowed with direct mechanical injection. Direct injection lowers cylinder temperatures, reducing knocking, being more effective when using low-octane fuels like those available in Germany. This engine was installed in the most effective fighter plane in history, the Messerschmitt VF-109, which is credited with more than 15,000 kills. Thanks to these advantages, the plane could fly in any condition and execute all kinds of maneuvers, such as long vertical climbs or inverted flight, whereas a carburetor would simply choke. Carburetors must be in the correct position to be able to draw fuel from the float chamber. If it is reversed, it simply stops working. Another technology that it had was a supercharger positioned at 90 to the crankshaft, and it wasn't attached by gears, belts, or anything conventional. If not, it was hydraulically powered. The crankshaft drives a pump, which sends fluid to the compressor. Through a valve, the speed and pressure of the turbo could easily be adjusted. As the plane climbs, the air gets thinner and loses power but by adjusting the compressor speed, this problem just goes away. The engine was 34 liters or 2,074 cubic inches, meaning each cylinder is 2.8 liters or 170 cubic inches. For aviation safety reasons, and also to ignite this large cylinder, two spark plugs were used. Its block was made of very advanced alloys. The weight, only 700 kilos or 1,500 pounds. With this, it generates 1,300 horsepower at 2,600 RPM. The connecting rods were of the fork and blade type. That is, one is open in two and the other standard, making the cylinders perfectly aligned. The engine was also capable of running for short periods with nitrous oxide and water methanol injection, ideal for escaping when being chased by another fighter. The reason the engine was designed to operate inverted was to keep the propeller higher up and away from the runway, to allow better visibility since the engine could be mounted lower, and to facilitate maintenance since the spark plugs are closer to the ground. This also left more room to install machine guns in the pilot's line of sight, which improved aiming. The aircraft's center of gravity remained aligned, giving it more agility. Engine number three. Mercedes-Benz needed a new engine, something that breaks with the piston and crank schemes, and what better than using a Wankel rotary engine? In 1969, they began the test with great expectations and desire to change the market in search of more power and better performance. They created the C-111, a gull-winged prototype vehicle designed to turn heads and break records. A three-rotor fuel-injected Wankel was installed. 
With this 3.36 liter or 205 cubic inches generated 200 horses at 5,600 revolutions and exceeded 125 miles per hour. The engine was used on the test track covering 40,000 miles. While there were some problems, most of it was good news. And after seeing how compact the Wankel engine was compared to an equivalently powered V8 engine, they decided to add a fourth rotor to create a 280 horsepower beast. As the test progressed with the new unit, the initial problems continued to exist, and Mercedes-Benz failed to reduce emissions, oil, and fuel consumption. Therefore, at that time, the project had already invested a lot of time and money without the expected results. Finally, a report was written indicating that the problems would not be solved, and it was recommended to invest again in the piston engine, definitively killing the Mercedes-Benz Wankel project. However, this leads us directly to our next rare engine, in the year 1970, a car diesel engine is rare. Five cylinders is even rarer. For the engine to last more than 600,000 miles without having to be rebuilt is extremely rare. The OM617 is the most durable engine that the Star brand has ever built. The project of this engine was from Ferdinand Porsche's grandson, who at the time had quarreled with his family at Porsche and was taken in by Mercedes-Benz. The engine was 3 liters, it had a cylinder head with a pre-chamber which increased engine power, and without a turbo it could deliver almost 90 horsepower. The injection pump was made by Bosch and could automatically decrease the diesel when the vehicle climbed a mountain where the air is less dense, thus reducing fuel consumption and avoiding black smoke. Later they had the brilliant idea of turbocharging the engine, increasing power from 90 horsepower to over 200. Obviously, more resistant parts were installed, such as a nitrided crankshaft and oil injection below the pistons to cool them. The engine was taken and installed in the previous Benz test car and used to break more than 20 endurance records. This turbo engine was sold to the public but with only 120 horsepower to maintain its high durability. The W116 was the first turbocharged diesel sedan in history. Engine number 5. Poison Piston Engine in 1998, the McLaren Mercedes Formula One team was producing more power than the rest of the teams, but how was this possible? Well, Mercedes had developed some beryllium pistons, a very resistant and light material that could handle temperature easily. With this, even though all the V10 engines revved at 17,500 RPM, the Mercedes were more powerful and could outperform their opponents. The problem with beryllium is that it is listed as a carcinogenic product, as well as being expensive and difficult to work with. Ferrari discovered this and wrote a complaint saying that Mercedes engines should be banned as they endangered people, especially when they were in the pits without good ventilation. Mercedes said that once its pistons were manufactured, they did not release material and that there was no risk to anyone. Just in case, the FIA decided to ban the pistons. We continue with the number 6 engine, the compressor engine. But first, remember that you can support me with a super thanks. If not, you can also leave your like and subscribe. The word compressor in German simply means compressor. This means that devices are used to compress the air and increase the power of the engine. Mercedes was one of the first installing supercharging devices and especially these rotor compressors. The main advantage is that they have a faster response than turbos, although in the end they're less efficient. Engine number 7. Mercedes-Benz Hot V Normally, on a V8 engine, one would install the turbos on the outside of the V since it's easier to route the exhaust pipes, getting closer to the floor. But there is a detail. Heat is energy and keeping the turbos separated is wasteful. Mercedes-Benz decided to gather the two turbos inside the V. This is complex since the temperature increases drastically in this sector, and then the exhaust pipes have to be lowered dodging the gearbox. Hence its name, Hot V. However, the engines are lighter, more efficient, and generate more power. Only specialized manufacturers in search of maximum performance dare Hot V engines, which makes them very rare. My name is Francis, and if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, check the comment space, which is very important. There are always interesting things to read. See you next time.